Hello everyone. Welcome to Nikkei Tech Academy. In our today's session, we are going to learn versioning in Informatica. This is the agenda. First, we will talk about what is versioning, what is check-in and check-out concept, how to enable versioning in Informatica Power Center, how to check-in and check-out objects, objects like mapping, sessions and workflow, how to compare with previous versions. So this concept we are going to learn today. If you haven't subscribed our channel, please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you'll be getting all the notifications. Without wasting your time, let us begin our session. So versioning in Informatica Power Center. So what is versioning? So normally, if you are if you are writing something document, okay, today you are writing some document, okay? You are writing some documents here, a design document or any other document or any document yourself, you are writing some documents here, right? Design document or anything. Today, you, you have written, but after some time, they want to do some changes in the same document. Then they will go for version, right? So previously, whatever the version you have, it's a version 1.1 or something. They will give some number, 1.1. If the same document, you are going to change it, they will say like it's a version 1.2. So in the content, they will write 1.1. What is the document? Okay, initial version. 1.2. They'll go for update in this particular details. So those details, they will update it. This is like versioning in the document itself. The same way Informatica, today you are creating one mapping or one workflow. You are creating one mapping here m1 mapping underscore one if you see this you are having a lot of mappings but there is no versioning in my system right we are not seeing any versioning here how do i know if you go to versioning all are disabled okay so that means what is versioning so today i'm creating mapping one tomorrow or after some sometimes six months or one year your your team your development team saying that Okay, we want to do some changes. So we have deployed into production. We will we will take this production version, right? We will take the export from here, from the prod to the development. And whatever this mapping already we have, we will make it like a backup. And whatever the production we are bringing. So from this mapping, we will be changing the date. Uh, we will be changing the enhancement. Okay, so we have done the en enhancement here. We are doing it here. So this should be version Two, right so this should be version 2 so why because this is version 1 so why they are keeping the version whatever the changes we are doing it yes we have to make the version version 2 version 3 all this if something goes wrong we can go to the previous version right so all the version control tool you will be seeing that uh, git we have right so git it will be maintained yes all the versions the same way informatica will keep the versions so here also so what is the version comparison? You can compare it here. See here, all this check-in, check-out, view, history, all this you are seeing. Okay. And also you can do the check-in, check-out. This is version, right? Yes. What is check-in, check-out? You'll be seeing this, say for an example, today, very first, very first time you are creating a mapping. Very first time you are creating a mapping in your local. In your local mission, you are creating a mapping. M underscore some mapping you are creating dimension table team underscore customer so this is the very first time you are creating in your local you, you assume that this is your local okay so this local whatever you are local environment whatever you are creating it it will not be visible to others so why because multiple developers will be there in your project if they are going to work on the same mapping, two members are work on, on the same mapping, then we will get confused, right? So it will get which one we have to take. You are you are also updating on the same mapping, other members also updating on the same mapping, then one date only will be available, right? It is getting overwritten. So to avoid this kind of scenario, normally if you are creating any new mapping, very first time, it will be on the checked out status. What is the status? Checked out. It will be checked out. So first status is checked out. 
see if it is in checkout status no one can able to view your changes whatever you are you are doing the changes no one can able to view your changes until checkout okay and also if you are creating newly this mapping no one can able to see this mapping until you are going to check in so you have done the mapping today right you have done the mapping workflows sessions and everything you have done you have to do check in so you are going to do the check in here into the centralized repository so once you have to do the check in this option is called check in so what is that option is called check in so you'll be check in and then this particular mapping m underscore dim customer right this mapping this green color will not be available here so m underscore dim underscore customer right so this will be checked in other developers the other developers can be able to see whatever you did the changes or whatever newly you have created okay then you will be after check in only you can able to export and you have to deploy it if object is checked in if you are deploying it it will throw error in the validation itself it will throw error so always you have to check in all the mappings your session your workflow your source target and everything all the components should be checked in okay so you have deployed this is the first version you assume that version 1 when you are doing the changes on the same mapping you will be you have to export from the production right you have to export from the production then you have to do the changes then again you are going to do the version version 2 this is called versioning the in our system versioning is not enabled now right are you seeing any tick mark on the left hand side no how do i enable the version versioning can be enabled by using the admin console go to c drive informatica whatever the version you have installed 10.4 or 10.2 and you'll be seeing the admin console here right double click on the admin console then automatically it will be opened right it will be opened here be getting the, the privacy error go to advanced since it is a https you will be getting this error continue and this is the one right username administrator so whatever the username you have given administrator and password is administrator just you can enter it go inside disconnect the repository you can disconnect the repository why because we are enabling right after enabling it we'll change it if you go to the services and notes you can go to this repository here and you are seeing that operating mode the operating mode is normal and version control is false so this should be enabled here the version control by default will be false so you have to enable go to edit repository properties and if you are if if the operating mode in normal mode we cannot enable it just to change it to exclusive mode click on okay restart exclusive mode you remember while installing we have done this changes right previously it was in exclusive mode after that we are changed to normal mode but just we are changing into exclusive mode yeah now it is exclusive mode right after changing into exclusive mode click on this edit repository now version control just enable it save this okay it will ask username password just you give the username or password the power center repository service is available right yes now version control is true but still it is in exclusive mode so if it is exclusive mode you cannot run your integration service right you can go to normal now you change it to normal the operating mode should be normal then it will take some time to change it it will disable the service again it will enable the service it will take one or two minutes enabling the service right so normal and you are seeing the version control is true okay check your integration service whether it is up and running okay so both are now running operating mode is normal version control is true so this changes you should have done so now you go to your repository click on connect give the username and password it should be connected 
you open this folder, any folder you can open it, just to open this folder. And you are seeing that now you can able to see checkout view history, find checkout is enabled, right? Yes. What is checkout? See, as of now, I haven't checked out any object. If I want to do any changes on this particular mapping, see, it is in checked in status now. If it is in checked in status, you cannot do any changes here. Can I able to change? No. See here, everything is in disabled status. Before that, we haven't seen this disabled status, right? So now versioning is enabled. That's why it is in disabled state. You cannot do any changes. If I want to do any changes from repository object, I have to first check out. Okay. I have to check out to my local. See, this is already checked in. You have to check out from here to here, right? So you have to do check out. If you are checking out, then you'll be seeing the green color mark. So I want to do changes on this particular date method. Okay. I will right click on this particular mapping, go to versioning, check out. See, I have to check out. I have to tell some why we are checking out. Okay. This is part of development part of this release number. Something. Okay. So you'll be having some real time project, some Jira number or request number. Why you are, you are going to check out what is the reason that they will ask. Now play. See, you are able to see this green color mark now, right? So that means you have checked out. So after checked out, if other users, other developers, if they are trying to check out from their machine, they cannot able to check out. It, it, they will get a right intent lock. Okay, it will, they will get, what is the lock? Right intent lock, they will get it. It will show like, it will throw error like this particular user has already checked out. Ask them to check in. That's what error message you'll be getting in your real time project. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to do some changes. So here I'm going to do some changes. I'm going to make four nine this changes I'm doing. And here I'm going for some changes I'm doing. DD update. So this is the changes. Okay. Sun some enhancement you are doing it, some column addition you are doing it. Okay, I have done to the validation ch changes and I'm going to do the versioning check-in now. So you have to check-in. See, until you are going to check-in, other members cannot able to see what changes you have done. Okay, clear? Yes. You have to right-click, go to versioning, check-in. See, this is what it will be applied to all, right? Then, if you see this, there will be a two versions of this particular mapping, right? You'll be having two versions. If you go to versions of this particular mapping, view history, you'll be having two versions, right? Version number one, version number two. Two different versions are there. So when the changes happen, yes, this is the one, right? Status active. Who has changed all this? You, you can able to see here. Okay, when it has been changed all this. Right. But I want to compare. So what changes we have done between these two versions, right? The same way you can compare it. So you take the, the latest one, compare with previous version, right? Or select the number of versions. If you have more number of versions, yes, you can select. You can see here version number two, version number one. What is the difference? Summary itself it is showing. Instance expression has been changed. An instance update transformation has been changed. No other difference in the variable, target load order and metadata extension, there is no changes. So there is changes in the two different instance. Instance is nothing but your transformation. Okay, expression transformation, update transformation, right? Yes, you can go to the instance. You can see there is a difference, right? Expression, double click. This is version number one, version number two. So what is the difference? You can see here, port, go a little bit down, it will highlight what is that version differences, right? So version one has three triple nine, version two, now we have changed to four nine nine, right? So that's a difference. In the same way, you can go down and then you can see update strategy, right? What is the difference here? Update, double click, 
version one, right hand side version one, left hand side version two. You can go to the port. There is no difference in the port. Properties, yes. Previously we had DD insert. Now we have DD update. So this is what you can see. All this. And if you want to know who has checked out, okay, go to version and find checkout. Find checkout means it will show you who has checked out. Select selected folder only. You want to see the object within this folder, the selected folder, and all folders, selected user, all users. Just whatever the way you want, you can check it. None of them are checked out. Everything is in checked in status, right? So that's why it's showing like no no objects. Compare with previous version, view history. So all this you can able to see here. So this is what check in, check out, and how to enable the version. How to enable the versioning. I hope you are clear.